Hello, what's up, YouTube? Brony Sweet and Trail, and in this tutorial, I'll do a comparison about the three frequency separation techniques. And in these techniques, we are going to be comparing the results from a lasso tool frequency separation image and also a mixer brush tool frequency separation image. And also, the third technique is going to be the lasso tool and mixer brush tool frequency separation image so just want to see the results and we compare and you can let me know in the comment section about which one you do prefer of the three techniques so right now we have the lasso tool image right here as you can see every image is going to be labeled so we're just going to be working on it and we see what the results that we're going to be able to achieve with this technique so i'm just going to come to the actions and i play my 8-bit action because this is an 8-bit image as you can see and I'm going to be using the same radius for all the images. I'm going to come right here and I'm going to turn off the details or the black and white layer. And come and get the lasso tool. Feathering at 22 pixels and simply come and make a selection on the skin area. So this case you have to only make on this selection on the skin area. And come to filter blur and come to Gaussian blur. And right here I'm just going to come and take the radius. A little bit up, up, up to the point when I feel like I'm having the base out of the skin detail and simply hit enter and come and make selections over the rest of uh, the skin just like that and now come and make selections just like that so I'm applying the Gaussian blur onto the overall image using the lasso tool through making selections on those areas so I'm just going to come and apply the Gaussian blur right there and come to this other area and also apply the Gaussian blur right there and I'm going to come to this other point and apply the Gaussian blur right there and come to the neck area and also come and do my application of the Gaussian blur onto the neck area so we are practically done so this is going to be a very fast technique and it's going to save you lots of time when you're trying to retouch your images so let's just apply it right beneath the eye. So you can see the before and after for the lasso tool technique. So next we're going to be having our mixer brush technique. And I'm just going to select the mixer brush image and come and play my same action, same radius, hit OK. And I'm going to come right here and I'm going to turn off, first of all, the black and white layer. And also turn off the textures. And come under the brushes, get a clean brush. Second, second option selected, weight at 9, load 75, mix at 90 and the 400. Make sure sample layers is not checked. I'm going to start painting through the skin area just like that. So I'm just going to be painting. And as I'm painting, you may notice that the image is turning to look a little bit plastic. But this is because I've turned off the layer containing the details or the textures in this image. So I'm just going to come and paint just like that. And I hope you can see that the image is turning out to look plastic, but the more it looks plastic, the better the results you're going to be having at the end of blending process using the mixer brush tool. So I'm just going to paint through first because if I told you have all the time in the world, you can just come and take all the time that you want trying to even out and blend the transition so that you can have even transitions within the skin using the mixer brush tool and it is doing a pretty nice and decent job so i'm just going to come to the nose area and also mix the colors that look alike in those area areas rather and i'm just going to paint just like that reduce on the size by using a box bracket on the keyboard and just come and paint through those areas to have or create even skin tone transitions in those areas so you can see what we have right now i'm just going to come and also blend this area even more and come to the neck area and also left click and paint through to blend those colors in those areas and as you can see it is really doing a nice and decent job because when i turn on the textures you can see the before and after and it is really nice and the image is really quite blending and it is great so this is the mixer brush tool alone technique and third we are going to be having our Third, which is the lasso tool combined with the uh, mixer brush technique. So I'm just going to come to the actions and I play my 8-bit frequency separation action. Same radius of 7. I'm going to, first of all, use the mixer brush tool and also combine it with the lasso tool technique. And I want you guys to really observe how I'm going to do this. 
and the results we're just going to be comparing the results later on in this tutorial and just let me know in the comment section about which one you prefer and which one is your go to go kind of technique to do frequency separation and the results you really prefer out of the image that we have at hand and the photos I'm using were taken by GMAX Studios and you can check him in the description of the video because I'm also going to link his YouTube channel in the description of this video so that you can subscribe and support his channel because he also creates content like I do on this channel so let's just paint through using a Mr. Brush tool and blend those colors just like that so we are trying to blend or harmonize the colors that are looking alike in this photo and after doing that we're just going to incorporate the lasso tool technique to fine tune the image even more and later after this we're just going to be comparing the results out of the three techniques that we have at hand and first it was the lasso tool technique alone and second it was the mixer brush tool technique alone and right now we're just trying to uh, combine both techniques to see if at all we may be having or we may get a better results result rather from combining uh, the two techniques of skin retouching so let's just come and work in the neck area too just like that and work right here and just blend those areas so what I'm going to do right now I'm going to come right and come to the textures and turn them on and get my lasso tool technique and apply the frequency separation to the rest of the image so i'm just going to come right here and apply the lasso tool technique just like that and apply it on those other areas so just come to filter blur and come to gaussian blur and i'm just going to use a radius of 21 usually i might apply this by three and get 21 so i'm just going to be applying it onto the overall image or the rest of the image and do the frequency separation on those areas so i'm just going to do this and when i'm done doing this you're going to see the results and you're going to be comparing them with what we had in the very first two techniques for skin retouching so we are almost done doing this and next you're going to be comparing them and we see the results and what really works best for the skin retouching so we are going to do a comparison right now and we see which one is the best technique so this is uh, the combined technique mixer brush tool and lasso tool that's the before and after and this is the mixer brush tool alone before and after and this is the lasso tool technique alone so i would recommend that you always comment because right here in the lasso tool technique we have that kind of bumpiness in the skin tone transitions and it is really not fine and accurate at all and in the lasso tool this is more of a fair technique for skin retouching and the bumpiness is gone but we have missed out on some areas that's why in the final technique that is combining the lasso tool and mixer brush tool technique we have a really fine and better Result. So I would recommend that you always combine the lasso tool and mixer brush tool when you're trying to do skin retouching using frequency separation to have the best results out of your retouched images. So this is all for this story. You can let me know in the comment section about which one you prefer and the results that you really want out of your images. And if at all you want to improve, combine both the mixer brush tool and the lasso tool to have the best out of your images. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more amazing trailer and don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating.